Seven hidden signs that a woman is interested in you. If you live on planet Earth, you probably know that women don't show interest the same way men do. They are not nearly as overt as we are. They do it very, very subtly, okay? Women gain no advantage by being overt or being direct with their interest towards men. In fact, that can put them in a very dangerous situation. So women have adapted to be very subtle about the way they show this. Although to them, it's not being that subtle. So if she does these things to her, it feels like she's being obvious, but to us, we're like mostly oblivious, okay? So if you want to be one of the five or 1% of guys that really sees the signs when a woman is interested, then watch this video because I'm going to be breaking them down step by step. Okay, the first one is going to be she hangs around you, all right? I've talked about this a bunch on my channel. We call this proximity, okay? When a woman has, for seemingly no reason, started to appear around you a lot, maybe you're at a party and you're bumping into her all the time, or she's just like kind of nearby by in your space. Uh, a lot of women will do this. If they see a guy that they like, they will hang out nearby him. Now, why will women do this? It's because they want the guy to talk to them, okay? So if you're in this position, she's wanting you to make a move. In fact, a lot of these things involve women wanting the guy to make a move. And she will do this repeatedly until she gives up. If she thinks she's tried a bunch of times by hanging around you, you know, she'll eventually give up because she doesn't want to be seen like an idiot or she thinks you don't like her. So pay attention to this. If you see a woman hanging around you a lot for seemingly no reason, you're bumping into her all the time, you might as well talk to her and try your luck. That's if you're interested in her. I would start the conversation just as simply as saying, hey, I'm Lloyd. I haven't met you yet. Just saw you over there. Okay. It's as simple as that. Thing two is going to be she looks in your direction repeatedly. Okay. This is another subtle thing that women do. It'll be very slight. You know, she'll be like talking to her friends and she'll kind of glance over. She'll kind of glance over. <laughs> Maybe she'll nervously adjust something. Okay. It'll be really quick. Okay. Women do not repeatedly look at a guy that they don't like. If they're repeatedly looking at you, that means there's something worth repeatedly looking at. Maybe she's trying to get your attention. Maybe she's trying to see what you're up to. So walk up, introduce yourself. Even if you think you're ugly, I guarantee you there's somebody out there who's repeatedly looking at you. You just got to be more observant at it. And if you're not getting anybody, then you got to work on I'll talk about how to get women to more repeatedly look at you and give you choosing signals. But if you're getting it and you walk up, then you can introduce yourself and sometimes she'll act surprised. Just play it cool. She looked at you repeatedly. This is totally normal. Go through your thing, okay? Let her play that game with you. It's fine. Number three, and this isn't 100% obviously, none of these are 100%, but if you get like more than one, like it's very, very likely that this person's interested in you, okay? Number three is gonna be she's fiddling with stuff on her body, with her hair, with her clothes. You know, she's doing something nervously like that, okay? So she might be fiddling with her hair, playing with it around you. Um, you might be talking and she's like nervously adjusting, you know, her clothing, stuff like that. That is gonna be the stuff that she does when she wants to look good. So they're either doing it for that reason or they're doing it because they're nervous. Number four, she calls you an idiot or some name for no reason, okay? <laughs> so this might sound counterintuitive. Like obviously if you're being really mean and obnoxious like and you deserve to be called a bad name and she calls you a bad name, okay, probably nothing there. But if you're just talking normally and you have a conversation and she's like, oh, you're such an idiot or you're such a dork or you know, you're silly. Obviously that means she's interested in you. Sometimes women, especially young and immature women, will use it as a defense mechanism because they hate that they like the guy. So then they will start being mean to you uh, to like protect themselves in case you don't like them back. They can tell themselves it didn't work out for that reason. So don't think that just because somebody's being really mean to you, they're not interested in you, okay? The opposite of love, the opposite of attraction is not hate, it's indifference, okay? If she doesn't feel anything towards you, then she's not gonna do anything. But if she acts emotional, especially towards anger, Something pretty good, okay. This brings me to my next one, number five, was you find out that she was talking badly about you. If someone is spending a lot of energy talking about somebody else, clearly there's something there. Now this person might have a lot of power over them, in which case we don't know, but if you don't have a whole lot of power over her and she's just instantly talking smack about you and you're like, what's going on? Like you're hearing all these rumors and stuff and she's talking about you all the time. Like there's probably something there. The only reason why a woman would talk about you a lot is because she likes you, okay? Again, if she doesn't like you, she's not gonna talk about you. She's not gonna care, okay? The opposite of attraction is not hate. It's indifference. Number six, she follows you, but you never gave her your social media. So if you never gave her your username and she finds you, that probably means she likes you, okay? This actually happened to me one time. I remember I was at a meeting 
and we were about to go shoot some content, shoot this video. And there was one of the ladies who was helping out, uh, the guy who was hosting us, uh, she was making jokes all the time, and I thought she was actually really funny. And I was like, damn, I should have like asked for her phone number or something like that. But then two hours later, sure enough, ping, I got a notification that she's following me on Instagram. And sure enough, yes, she was really interested in me. And uh, yeah, so we took it from there. But basically, if you find that she follows you like on Instagram, well, I'm not a big fan of Snapchat, but like she finds you somehow, she starts appearing there, yeah. She's probably interested in you. Number seven, this is the last one. Well, almost the last one. I'm gonna give you guys a bonus one. Uh, she mirrors your texting. So if you guys are texting, you might notice, uh, like if I'm, if I'm messaging a woman who really likes me, especially at the beginning, if I send a one word response, she'll reply with a one word response. If the, I then take, you know, two hours to message back, she takes two hours. If I then send a big paragraph and, she's, and then she sends a big paragraph, Okay, clearly she's mirroring my behavior. She doesn't want to mess things up. She doesn't want to look too over eager. She doesn't want to look too, like she doesn't like me. So she's mirroring my behavior exactly so she can have the best chance of success, okay? This is clearly someone that's really interested in you if she's doing this, all right? Now, if you get this happening, just notice it. You don't have to do anything with it um, and then move forward and proceed as you want to, okay? Now, I'm gonna give you in one final one, which is kind of unique that you guys gotta use this carefully because if done wrong, it you know is not gonna end well for you, okay? And that's number eight, which is the bonus one. She's intentionally avoiding you, okay? If a woman is intentionally avoiding you, like to the point where you're like, wow, okay, this is a little bit overkill, there might be something there. Now, if a woman is avoiding you, I don't want you to think that that's all it takes. Okay, she's gotta be doing one of these other things. Just because a woman is avoiding you, yeah, there very well might be a reason for that. And it might not be that she likes you. It might be she doesn't like you or doesn't wanna be around you. So if that's happening, what you gotta do is you gotta see if one of those other things are happening. I'll give you an example. So one time I was at a party and I'm talking to this girl and um, I felt like it was going well. You know, I felt like it was going really well with her. And then I turned around and she had freaking run off. <laughs> like, what's going on? She's running off. So anyway, I, I come, I catch up with her and I find her again. And I'm like, yo, what's going on? Why'd you run off? You know, and she's like, oh, uh, you know, my friend called me. Well, she made some excuse. So then we're talking again. I'm, I'm getting a lot of interest from her. She's like being very friendly, you know. She's doing some of the things that I mentioned earlier. Um, but these were like more overt signals. This is when it weren't even hidden signals that she was interested in me. And then I turned around and then she just run off again. <laughs> this is the second time. So I find her at the bar and I'm like, yo, are we gonna keep playing this, you know, Looney Tunes cartoon here? And she's like, oh, you know, I'm sorry, blah, blah. And then I can see she's about to run again. And I'm like, look, before you run, give me your phone. I'm gonna type in my phone number and text myself. If you want to keep talking to me, let's keep talking, but I'm not going to keep chasing you here. All right, I, I don't think I said those exact words, but I said something to that effect. Anyway, she takes her phone, <laughs> runs off like the road runner, uh, and I messaged her and, you know, gave her shit about like, you know, her feet probably hurt from running around all day, <laughs> something like that. And then uh, we, we went out the very next day. Yeah, we ended up dating for a little bit. Not the most healthy relationship, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, there was a reason why she kept running away from me. Turns out, she, you know, I reminded her of her ex. She, you know, she was trying to avoid guys like me, but she was attracted to me, so, like, she wasn't really hiding it very well. So anyway, that didn't end up being a great relationship, but it was something that started. She was clearly interested in me. So in that case, I got some of these other things. It was just I found that she was intentionally avoiding me. I don't know if you guys have seen Harry Potter, but there's a... Like Ginny Weasley, every time she sees Harry, she like gets wide-eyed and just runs away. <laughs> Could be like that. You know, people think they grow up, um, even when you get into your 30s, um, this this type of stuff can, can still happen. People can still act childish. It does happen. What you have to understand is that people who are doing this, the guys who are the most successful, they assume the attraction. Now, this doesn't mean that you, if you know that she's interested in you, you walk up and act disrespectful to her, okay? Like, the guys who assume the attraction, they still go through the steps. If I know a person's interested in me, I'm not just gonna walk up and grope her. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna talk to her like a normal human being, and then I'm gonna invite her to come do something with me. Get her phone number, 
buy her a drink, whatever it is, I'm gonna do that thing that is the normal courtship ritual that we go along. And there's also another thing, another system that I teach in, in, my, in my program. So um, that's actually better than just a normal asking girl out or whatever. Um, there's a better way of doing that. So if you actually wanna get helped by me personally, there's a link down below, get coachedbyloyd.com, click on it, fill out the form, and basically we'll see if you're a good fit. But basically what you wanna do is you wanna assume the attraction. If you are not sure, just go up and introduce yourself, okay? Too many guys are trying to pinpoint and write mathematical equations to see if the woman's interested in them. That's not what confident and high value guys do. Confident and high value guys know that they're an awesome person, that they contribute to the world, and they are a person worth talking to, and when they interact with people, they make their lives better. Why would I not walk up to someone and talk to them if I knew I was gonna make their life better? Why would you not talk to somebody if you knew that? You would. So, if you wanna learn how to do that, again, personal coaching is there. You can check out my other videos. Um, also, I have a free school group for guys you can join. You can find a wingman in your area. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Good luck out there.